it's me again. Today's date is June 25th, 2023. It's a Sunday. And what's going on today? Well, it seems that Raza Twill has filed a new complaint against Finra. She takes a different approach this time. This time she's requesting the blue sheets. And she gives several detailed, itemized exhibits in her complaint. One of them is indeed being the Sam Dratty email say that he is pulling the blue sheets. As we all know, Finra said in a previous rebuttal to Raza's prior complaint that the blue sheets were too laborsome and it was very cumbersome for Finra to pull those blue sheets. But here we have an email from Sam Dratty talking like it's something that can be done rather quickly if you need it to be done quickly. She cites it. Terrific. She then goes on to cite, in this case, the Axum Enterprises, in which the Supreme Court determines that the SEC is not beyond judicial review before the district courts, and thus the defendant, an entity under the purview of the SEC, is not beyond the reach of this honorable court. The outcome of that case means that the SEC can be under judicial review. It's not exempt. As Finra claims to be, Finra claims to be exempt. As it's an entity of the government, although in this particular case, it, it determined that the SEC is not beyond the review of the judicial courts. Citing this case and it's not beyond review of judicial courts, she then goes on that what she wants is the blue sheets. She wants an accounting of the shares of MMTLP. That's terrific. I think it's great, and I think this has a potential of getting somewhere. I honestly do. I say that because we cite some similar exhibits from my FOIA request and her request from the judge. So I think she does have, that's a little Cory cat there, just went up gulp some air and came back down. Quarry cats will gulp air, much like a betta fish, they'll, they'll go and gulp air. Quarry cats don't have a labyrinth organ, but they can gulp air, and they will use that air. So I'm a bit excited about Raza's outcome, and we have my FOIA, which is still in process. I did call and ask an update for my FOIA this past week, and they told me I should hear something by the end of the month, which is coming up rather quickly. And if I don't hear anything, you know, I could call back after the weekend of July 4th. July 4th, everybody's out, it seems, and then I can, I can call back after July 4th. That would mean I can call back on July 10th. My FOIA request isn't responded yet. Some people will say I won't get anything. That might be the case, but they haven't told me no yet, and it's been quite some time. I've been told no on other FOIAs, and it didn't go this long. The fact that it, my liaison at the SEC told me that it was in process, and they gave me some indications of it being in process, I wonder what I'm going to get. But I am happy to see that Raza's new, newest complaint does cite some of the things that I cited in my FOIA request. Which is why I think she has a shot at this at getting the blue sheets. We will see. It's up to the judge to determine that. As we know, given by her previous complaint, Finra has a certain amount of time to respond to this. And then we go from there. Depending on what FINRA will respond to and how they will respond to it. So next step in Raz's case is wait for FINRA's response or lack thereof a response. FINRA doesn't have an unlimited amount of time to respond to this. They do have a finite window in which they can respond to it. It seems like we're doing this waiting game. Yes, there was a bit of a management update in Nextbridge Hydrocarbons, whereas Greg McCabe is now chairman of the board. 
But for most of us, it is indeed a waiting game, and a lot of people are indeed getting a bit fatigued from waiting around. It's a waiting game, but many people are fatigued of being waited around. We've waited, as Raz has stated, for over six months now. Over six months. And the FUD on a lot of things continues to build. For example, people get very irately angry when I post pictures about my fish tank on Twitter. I thought fish tanks were supposed to be calming. They've always been a hit. When I was a private teacher, fish tank was a hit. It was that fish tank. That was a hit. And I've since moved up in fish tanks. I'm tempted to get like a 75 gallon that's on Facebook, not far from my house. It's like a free 75 gallon tank and it looks pretty decent. I can always recalk the silicone. The glass looks in good shape. I'm tempted to get it and, like, put it right there and have it be an Oscar tank. Because the Oscars look pretty fun. They look at you. They're a bit more intelligent as far as fish goes. And I kind of like that. Like, he's he's pretty spot on for a fish. He, I like him. He I can see him thinking. The quarry cats, I can't really see think. But it's cool. The quarry cats will, like, move their eyes down below this ridge of scale. And it looks like they're winking at you. But that's just them moving their eyes. But I'm pretty happy with my fish tank thus far. This one, the father fish method of fish tank. And if I could pull off on a $0 budget an Oscar tank, that would be pretty cool. I mean, lots of people are trying to get rid of Oscars at all times. <laughs> they get a little Oscar that it gets, you know, to be a big Oscar. They're like, help, I don't know what to do with this Oscar. As far as feeding the Oscar, right now, food's a plentiful you just go outside with a net and you can catch a lot of grasshoppers to give to your fish it is very hot here in texas still this week is all going to be above 100 degrees with no respite in sight it seems due to that hot air just circulating around texas i'm hoping that el nino comes back where it's colder and wetter here that would be quite nice send cold air this way please it's hot. <laughs> this bird hat is hot. But there is a lot of FUD going on, which I cited in my last video. People doubting the oil and gas being there. Again, know this. If somebody tries to elicit an emotional response from you, they are not entitled to your response. You don't have to respond to them. They will try to elicit response and make it seem like you owe them a response, but they're not entitled to your response. That's what they want, is your emotion. They want you to publicly show some emotion. And in fact, it actually angers more people if you respond to somebody who asks the same question, and you respond to them. But you don't respond to the person who's trying to el elicit that negative reaction from you. That actually, like, makes them even more angry. I'd also like to point out that, yes, I enjoy this fish tank. It's a nice hobby to have because it's very peaceful. It's fun to watch the plants grow. It's fun to watch the fish grow. It's like this tranquil little contained world. When I share this hobby on social media, some people get very irate from it. And then they go, why don't you talk about MMTLP? They were angry when I talked about MMTLP. And now they're angry that I don't talk about MMTLP and that I talk about other hobbies. So it seems like people who do that might be happiest when they have something to complain about. Complain about me talking about MMTLP. And then when I show other things that I have interest in on my own personal social media channel, oh no, you can't do that. It's not MMTLP. But people get irate anyways. They don't want you to post, you know, your own hobbies for some reason. Maybe they're upset that they can't have such a fun hobby as fish tanks. It sort of reminds me of when you say that you're going to go somewhere, be it a Burning Man or Europe or, you know, Dustin, Florida. You want to go there and you're like, yeah, I'm going to have a great time in Dustin, Florida. There's a beach, do some fishing. People go, oh, Dustin, Florida, it's not a good place. 
because of X, Y, Z. Why would you go to Destin, Florida? I'd never go to Destin, Florida. Well, great. Okay, that's why I'm not taking you with me to Destin, Florida, because clearly you don't like this. It's not why I'm taking you with me. I could go and enjoy it. If if you went somewhere, I'd be like, great for you. That's awesome. Send me pics. I'm so happy for you. Do these people ever feel happiness for other people? Or is it all armchair criticism? Because they're happiest when they complain about something. That was actually like a plot line to the book and then the movie, What the F Do We Know? Which kind of talked about the human condition and its effect on quantum mechanics. But as we all know now, you know, Schrodinger, who stated long ago that the effects of quantum mechanics are affected by the observer itself. It's, it's, it was an interesting and eye-opening book, I think, at the time it was written. And it sort of gave topical examples of piecing it all together. Like, it used a wedding as a methodology to show, like, the different effects of observations. And you all know some of those people. I know you all know at least one or two of those people that were portrayed in that wedding. I find it to be the same thing. Somebody is very upset that you show that you're having fun or that you're capable of handling things emotionally. And they get very upset about it. And what do they do? They just make it seem negative. Like, why did you talk about Destin, Florida? That's a terrible place. Don't go to Destin, Florida. Go where I want you to go. Okay, do you want me to go where you want to go then? Or you're going to be upset that I went somewhere that you went and I couldn't take, I didn't take you with me. If you're going to complain about it, yeah, I'm not going to take you with me to Dustin. Who doesn't like Dustin, Florida? And if Dustin, Florida is not your thing, maybe Cheyenne, Wyoming. That looks fun. There's like a big yak farm there and get some yak burgers. Just a brief little update. We're still waiting. And there have been other oil and gas sales, which I've been analyzing. I'm looking at the Safitas oil and gas sale. That's been rather interesting. Of course, when you read about the sale, you have to go to sources to see, okay, what's their reserves in oil and gas? And some of these sales, they're very good at providing you with that information. And some of these sales, they're like, it's private. That's, that's not for you. That's private information. So it could be very hit or miss if you'd like to extrapolate some of that data they're providing. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I will see you soon. Goodbye.